Good early evening, YouTubers and fellow reloaders. Today turned out to be a, uh, a good and an interesting day all at the same time. Being a Friday uh, and having uh, as many uh, vacation accrued hours as I do. I'm at a point now where if I don't use them, I lose them. And I'm not a big fan of donating to corporate America unnecessarily. So uh, I took today off and decided uh, it would be a good range day. And that it was. Uh, in fact, I'll uh, pop my picture up. I think I was uh, on target. Uh, actually, I started off a little rough. Uh, the four inch, as you'll see, uh, had a couple uh, what I'll call breathing mistakes. Then it moved up to the uh, three inch, a little bit more consistent. I think the four inch was 20 or 25 shots and the three inch was either 15 or 20. Actually, I should just count my brass. Uh, that's, let's see, I think it was 20, 15, five and five, and then one each on uh, the little circles on the sides. And that, that, that looks about, what is that, 25, 15, 40, 50, 56? That uh, looks about 56. Maybe I'll count it in a little bit. Uh, range was empty. And uh, there were two, uh, two other folks shooting down, down lanes from me. And uh, they just shot their stuff and left. They didn't pick their brass up. Left it all over the place. So that looks like they shot maybe double me, maybe triple, because 9 millimeters, a lot smaller. So I walked over and uh, got some little pew-pew uh, capsules. And some people say, why do you reload 9 millimeter? And if you look at the price of 9 millimeter, I think it's still 50 cents around or more when you figure in uh, purchase price, shipment price. FFL price for transaction fee and all that good stuff. So I want to say it's still around 50 cents around and uh, with my supplies, I think I'm coming in at 15 to 18 cents. Obviously that's with primers purchased a long time ago, uh, as well as powder purchased a long time ago. The only thing that hasn't really uh, taken off crazy wise is uh, the, uh, the, pull, the, uh, the actual lead itself. Wait for that to happen. I'm sure that's uh, that's coming next. So, this is not the reason for today's video. Uh, in fact, what uh, what uh, also happened while I was at the range is I got a uh, text from my credit card asking me did I approve a uh, nearly $600 charge to Verizon. Um, I'm like, uh, no. In fact, I've uh, specifically uh, trailed down on using my credit card uh, to try and keep uh, expenses under control. Um, just because one never knows when one will be unemployed and uh, the bills don't stop even though the paycheck does. So this is not the intent of uh, this video, but uh, it was a great way to spend Friday. It was a beautiful day out there uh, planting some freedom seeds and uh, getting some, uh, some free brass that I will clean. The real reason for today's video is this black pouch and what's interesting is i've only made two purchases on the credit card that had the 600 hundred dollar attempted fraud today in fact they tried four times to get that through and uh the, there's only two companies that i did business with in the last two weeks uh, and i'm not accusing either company of uh pilfering my credit card number but uh since i find it interesting that uh I have to provide all my details uh, to each of these companies in order to purchase what I purchased. And, uh, and now I've got uh, credit card fraud. Uh, so I had to uh, call my credit card company, close all that down, blah, blah, blah. Basically, major inconvenience, four to ten business days to get a new card. All the auto billing to that credit card will now, they said, be automatically moved over. I call bullshit on that, but we'll see. All right, so... Today's video is actually about this, what's in this black bag. And uh, I held off on this for a while. In fact, uh, this came from, uh, this recommendation came from somebody who watched my uh, Ruger Precision Rifle, uh, my Rimfire rather, that build. And uh, what do we have here? That, uh, 
We have a soda pop high chew. I have no idea what that even is. I'll have to look that up because uh, with my glucose, I'm sure I can't have that. But uh, this, uh, and then somebody complained in a previous video, stop talking and just get to the point. This is part of the fun. So the unboxing, the unbagging. If you don't like it, don't watch. I'm not paid. I'm not endorsed. So, uh, and if you make uh, shitty comments, you get banned. So this was a recommendation from another viewer, another, not, I wouldn't say a subscriber. Um, and it comes from Anarchy Outdoors. What an interesting name. And I have something similar on my 1022, and I wasn't even considering it really for the uh, Ruger Precision Rimfire, um, except when I started using it, and I'll bust out the rifle here in a minute. Um, when I started using the rifle, finding that little release, it's just in a weird place that doesn't naturally, your hand just doesn't naturally go there, your thumb, your finger, and it's kind of quirky. Uh, in all honesty, to uh, release the mag from the rifle. So uh, somebody had suggested, and I forget his name, but he knows who he is. Maybe he's watching this one. He said, uh, pick up the Anarchy Outdoors whale tail and thank me later. So uh, what's kind of funny is I ordered this like on a Friday. A week, I think, yeah, Friday, a week ago today. And I got uh, a delivery notification um, from my, uh, my, my, uh, UPS, USPS app that says this was delivered and left at my door, uh, or left in my mailbox. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Uh, so I called Anarchy and they're like, yeah, we had a problem. It came back to us. We'll resend it out. So, uh, this is maybe the second send, but, uh, we will now install the Anarchy Whale Tail on the Ruger Precision Rimfire. Back in a moment. All right, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this uh, because the scope makes things a little more complicated. I've got it uh, in my rest here uh, because it's, in theory, as simple as uh, this screw and this screw. I think... You also need to take this plastic covery thing off right here, and I will do that. But uh, this big ass scope makes it a little more challenging to uh, to deal with. But what I wanted to do was demonstrate how. I mean, this is a very subdued lever, not a bad thing, and when you're shooting. And your trigger finger is here. And when you go to find, it's like, well, I got short, stubby fingers. So, you know, when I'm here, going here, it's it's just not a natural movement. And catching it with the thumb, you're, it, it's it's just, it's subdued enough that it's, uh, it's challenging to get out. So, uh, I have found that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of, of this standard release. So... Um, I've watched previous videos on this. It doesn't appear to be complicated. Um, you just have to make sure you get that spring in the right place, I guess. And uh, we'll be back in a minute after I write this up and figure out how to take that plastic piece off. Alright, so bolt is out. And that little plastic shroud just comes off there and I don't see anything inside of that that looks like it needs to come out I mean the Allen key is for the AccuTrigger adjustment so I'm thinking I'm uh, okay at this point so I'm gonna flip it over and see what happens back in a second and I had to bust out the Wheeler gunsmithing kit and Whatever part number this is, is what these screws appear to be. And I put a towel underneath my, uh, my scope because I'm guessing when I do this, things are going to fall. Hmm. Well, 
let me make sure those come out. Ooh, can I get the magnet in? Hmm. Do I have a smaller magnet? Put it in. No. Maybe this screw isn't all the way out. And maybe I should magnetize. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It so wants to catch. Are these the same length? No. Biggie in back, shorty up front. Shorty up front. All right, so now... I believe things have to be unsafe. There we go. Okay. All right, so this is the part I need. So I will be right back when I make some room. All right, we now have a little bit of working room. And if memory serves, you know, when you look at trying to this is the piece, this whole thing here. Well, at least part of it. Uh, and there's obviously no screws holding this in. So if memory serves, it was a pressure kind of thing. There we go. Push, push and remove. Okay. So we have pushed and we have removed. Uh, now... Okay, so it looks like it looks like uh, I want to say it's just held in with this uh, with this pin. Me might uh oh the pin that just <laughs> that just fell out. And then something fell into my hand. Okay. Might be easier to see because of the background. Make sure nothing else popped out on the on the pad. So this pin just kind of rolled out as did uh, let's see this thing just slides in there like that. Okay, so obviously this has to be in to catch the pin on the bottom. And then that, okay. That just slides in. Okay. So pin, pin goes on my side. Pin goes on this side. Okay. Something tells me we may be watching somebody else's video later to fix it. We'll find out. Okay, so I've also heard that some people take this off. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do. All right, after toying with this for a moment or two. There's only a few ways this can go in, and this is, and there's the alignment with, whoops, there's the alignment with that, uh, with that hole. And then, so that alignment, I was so focused on that freaking spring. I think that's later in the install based on the worry about this thing. And I have no idea. And naturally, I'm not even in focus or in, in the frame. 
Okay, mother fudger. Let's try this approach. It's a little harder to do this when you're trying to, when you're, first of all, I'm standing up instead of sitting down. I'm fucking bent over. I'm old as shit. And let's see what other excuses I've got. And that required a little bit of focus uh, because of uh, some dumbassity and a pin that just uh, struggling for this particular retaining clip to line up and hold this in. But it looks like if this goes in like that, that is... That is what we will have. Something like that. Now let's see if it will drop in politely. This will save. Always save my original pieces because you never know. Some people don't like other people's mods. And I'm going to say that this hopefully will go in as smooth as and you're not seeing anything I'm doing so again number of people said they remove this I'm gonna see if that's actually necessary so I think this should just drop into place which it did so it just drops into place Now that's a little more reasonable. Actually, it looks pretty good too. Whoops, if it stays in. So if you're if you're again this is such a long video, it should have been like a minute. Uh, this was I think about like that. I don't remember if it was like this or like that. I think it's like this because the pin is right about here, but. The difference of firing the trigger and then hitting that. I mean, it, there's something there that it finds easily, whereas this and the sticks up. So uh, the other stuff did not. All right, let me reassemble back in a second. All righty. So I have figured out my, my challenges. I had uh, actually two challenges. Um, so this is seated, and I will unseat to show you. My challenges. Okay. So the original release, this thing, no spring. This thing, and I took the tail off of the whale tail operates uh, on the internal pieces again whoops no uh, let me pull it out to show you the problemo so i will be contacting anarchy outdoors and taking them up on their 100 percent lifetime replacement guarantee because uh, after uh, i think every expletive in the world and they're, and their install on their website even talks about this this effing spring. I don't understand the value of this spring other than uh, my ability to bend it in, in, in so many different ways, and that's after straightening it a few times. So the frustration with this effing pin, spring rather, is that's what was key. That and uh, the uh, safety selector spring had uh, wiggled to the... Uh, to the right a little instead of being up against the left side. I don't know if you can see it in the corner there, the left side of this uh, this wall. So with um, with this thing in without the spring, it seats uh, very nicely, and then I can uh, very easily as I as I struggle very easily. Let me put the uh, scope up a little bit so it goes back in I 
then things seat a little better. <laughs> or, or they did when I was doing this a minute ago. Let me make sure I'm on safe. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay, there. So it seats. It seats just fine. And that's, that's the struggle I'm in. Because, no spring on this, but this effing spring goes right there. And there is no way that I have found to get that in by, you know, just, oh, just compress that and pull it back because it sets against the polymer. So it's a design that wasn't in the original design, a, de a design addition that's not in, um, in the original. <laughs> so trying to get that MFR, trying to get that effing spring in that hole, either after it's seated or before it's seated, is proving to be uh, challenging. So I'm going to try and come up with a method. I don't know the value of that spring, in all honesty, because again, it sits against, it would sit against the polymer right here, as you can see. And what was happening, the reason this wouldn't set or seat correctly was because that effing spring was on top of the polymer right here. And that was causing all kind of angst that I couldn't identify easily. So, uh, at a minimum, I need a new spring. This is, this is totally trashed. Uh, but I'm debating whether it's worth even uh, uh, retaining that spring because it, it just, to me, it doesn't add value. I mean, the uh, the original piece uses this plunger and spring, so and it's not like this is, you know, Mongo loose. So I don't know that uh, this this added spring here uh, is even worth the uh, the angst. So I'm going to try and put this in, and naturally, because the camera's right here, and I'm trying to work right here, uh, I'm going to put you guys on pause. So my janky solution was to wrap that effing spring in tape to compress it so that I could insert this with some blue tape. Which is probably something I should have done initially, but I was trying to get cute with little tools, wooden tools, and chisel, and whatnot, and that didn't work for squat. So, let's see, and I've uh, put it back together, so it seats fine. My safety selector seems to feel like it works. So now, let's see if I can peel off the tape. And what will happen all right so I'm still going to contact anarchy because uh, as you can see that spring get my fat finger out of the way uh, what can I use I use this wooden thing as you can see, the spring right here is against the polymer. So, I mean, it's not moving, meaning the spring is, it's there. And I should have probably done that to begin with, but live and learn. That's, uh, that's how we grow. Okay, now let's put the whale, where'd the whale tail go? The tail of the whale. Where does that go? The tail of the whale. So what's funny is I actually had to take a break uh, 
I was in between two different tasks. So this is like an hour later or hour after I started this fiasco. So I'm going to say this is my most challenging install for a, uh, a release. Oh, now that's interesting. Maybe because there's no pressure on it. All right. Let me try it out. Put some tools out of the way. Back on the rack. Do a function test. And the spring, if you can see it right there, it's where it's supposed to be. It's not the prettiest thing, but it works. And let's go ahead and flip it back over. See if we can reassemble. Things work. All right, uh, my camera died, which means probably battery. So now that I'm on charger, which I should have been on, didn't think the, the video was going to go that long. But I think we are done done because uh, I've put things back together. Function tests work. So from a bolt. So we are on safe right now. We are on fire. And for those of you who freak out because a 22 is being fired, dry fired, that's okay. Okay, so let me uh, lower, actually, why don't I just rotate this? So now you can see, uh, let me put this up a little bit. So you can see that, you know, if you're firing, bang, 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 now there's enough that this is just a trigger, uh, excuse me, a finger trigger, finger away from the trigger. Whereas before, where do we have this bad boy? We had, uh, I think it was this, uh, this orientation. So the equivalent of this, you're you're just not gonna, it's just not gonna reach. I mean that's that's essentially right here. I would have to come off here, whereas this is just a a shot 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 and a, a comfortable push, very comfortable within reach, and it's ambidextrous because you know, well for me. being right-handed, I guess, but I don't shoot lefties. So, so I'm going to say uh, this is a cool little uh, addition. Uh, the finish is exact in terms of the uh, same coating. Uh, that spring, that spring effed me up uh, probably because I didn't pay enough attention. But uh, I will be contacting Anarchy to uh, request a replacement spring now that I know how to do it easily with uh, the compression method of uh, blue tape. But that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so the dude who, who suggested it, uh, thank you much, because trying to find that little thing when it's just right here, I found myself leaning over, looking. It was just, uh, you know... Uh, it took uh, took some enjoyment off the afternoon of uh, dealing with magazine changing and whatnot. Whereas this is uh, this is quite pleasurable, and the fact that uh, gravity, yeah, that's uh, that's got a nice uh, it's got tension to it. Whoops, tension to it. I'm guessing because of the spring against the polymer, so it's you know it's there. Uh, hopefully, it's not going anywhere and. Uh, 
I'm, uh, I have no doubt Anarchy will send me an additional spring or two. And, uh, you know, that was just uh, dumbassity, not paying enough attention to detail, which that happens, which is why I love uh, manufacturers who stand behind their stuff uh, when there's idiots touching their stuff. So I'll be tonight's Friday idiot, and we'll call this uh, a complete success after uh, after a, a well-deserved break because sometimes you just have to take a step back so that uh, you don't go crazy um, in the boil over moment of WTF why why wouldn't this work why why is it having an issue and uh, that, that feels good good stuff all right we are done bye